Welcome to Buff Zone. It is week two for the Colorado football team. They will host Idaho State this Saturday at 3.30 p.m. at Folsom Field. But first, let's recap week one. The Buffaloes routed rival Colorado State 44-7. Great performance overall for the Buffaloes. Uh, quarterback Sefo Lufau was the Pac-12 Offensive Player of the Week for his, for his performance. We were able to catch up with him about that award. It's just a great feeling, but it's also a testament to, you know, Bubble made a great play, uh, Devin made a big catch, Shea, O-line did really well all night, and so, um, if anything, that's just a testament to how well the offense played and, and how my guys around me played as well. For, for it to be the first game back, and, you know, I know I missed a couple throws, I had a couple fumbles, which is uh, pretty frustrating, but, you know, for the most part, I was really, really satisfied with how I was running, um, running the ball, you know, passing, making checks and everything, and so, um, there's room to improve, but, you know, I was definitely satisfied with week one. Great performance for Lufau and a lot of the Buffalo. Several receivers stepped up. The defense was tremendous, holding Colorado State to seven points that they didn't score until uh, the first play of the fourth quarter. So the defense was awesome all night long, forcing four turnovers. Just a great performance, something that I think a lot of Buff fans did not expect. I think a lot of people thought Colorado would win the game. I think they were favored by about 10 last week, but uh, I'm not sure many expected a 37 point victory so uh, for the Buffaloes the trick now is trying not to get uh, you know too ahead of themselves uh, they have Idaho State this week an FCS opponent and uh, a lot of the Buffaloes this week talked about not getting too high after that win last week and not getting full of themselves as they have an opponent coming in this week that they really should be uh, the mindset is still the same you know we still only have one goal and that's to be Pac-12 champions I think we've been upfront with that since the beginning um, we definitely needed to get a victory at Colorado State and that was a great team but now we're going to be on to the next one, and we're trying to go one to know this week. Everybody on this team is pretty humble, and Coach Mack honestly stressed that to us yesterday, talking about being humble and hungry. So, you know, we're still hungry and we're still humble. We know we have a lot of work to do to uh, turn this program around. One of the reasons the Buffaloes are not getting too uh, high this week is the fact that they know that they weren't perfect last week. They had some fumbles themselves. Sefo um, had a couple fumbles. Philip Lindsay fumbled. Uh, they had some penalties they wanted to clean up. So they talked this week about uh, the reason that they're not so high is they need to clean up a lot of things, some things they have to get better at as they move forward. Well, it's, you know, we, we played really hard. And, we, you know, we made quite a few mistakes um, that we could have done some other things better. But I thought that the kids played extremely hard. They came out fast and furious and, and stayed after it. I was, I was pleased with that. And uh, um, it was exciting to, to watch them play for the first time live. We didn't make a bunch of critical mistakes. You know, we, had, we missed a thing here, missed a thing there type thing. Um, we did not hold on the ball like I would like. You know, two of them were, were Seppo, which he's got to work on. That's really the first time he's been hit in a long time. Um, and then uh, Philip. Um, fumbled the one on the spin move, the other one he was already down. So th that, that's, un that's, that's something we don't do and we won't do it. So we'll, we'll be better at that. For the most part, we played really well. You know, I think there was a couple of drives, though, that we stopped ourselves. Um, a couple of mistakes here or there, penalty, um, some fumbles, and, um, which was pretty frustrating. So we want to improve on that this week. But I think overall, as an offense, we did very well. Uh, you know, definitely communication is always number one. Um, technique, number two. Definitely two things that you always can get better at. Uh, last game, I think the DBs were the only were the ones who gave it that touchdown. You know, it was on a pass play, so definitely got to stir up the communication on that play. And I think we'll be fine. You know, we we have a, a bunch of leaders and a bunch of seniors on our in our defensive secondary. So I feel like if we just keep communicating and get our technique better, we'll be fine. All right, on to Idaho State. The Bengals will come in here on Saturday afternoon off of a 47 to three win over Simon Fraser University. If you've never heard of it, uh, you know, a lot of us haven't. It's a uh, Division II school, actually up in Canada. So, um, But for the Bengals, it's a pretty good game. Two and nine last year. So for them, they're probably coming in uh, you know, feeling pretty good about themselves after a big victory last week. But uh, Coach Mike McIntyre gave us a bit of a scouting report on the Bengals. You know, they, they throw the ball really well. It's a lot like Hawaii's offense last year. It's basically the same offense. Um, and the, the offense coordinator from there had gone to Hawaii. So they've got, a, they've got some good receivers. Quarterback knows what he's doing with the football. You know, defensively, they're a, a true 4-3 football team. Um, and uh, a little bit more like Oregon State used to be about two years ago with the wide ends and rush ends. So they're going to try to get after our passer and, and it'll cause some havoc to our tackles. So they've got to be able to do well. So Last year, the Buffaloes played Nickel State at home and they handled them pretty, pretty handily. But uh, the Buffaloes know they can't take Idaho State lightly. Uh, we've seen FCS uh, upset, pull upsets 
on Division I teams a lot. In fact, just last week, Washington State got upset by Eastern Washington. The Buffaloes know all too well, having lost to Montana State several years ago uh, and having lost to Sacramento State as well. Idaho State's head coach is Mike Kramer, who was the coach of that Montana State team in 2006 that came into Boulder and beat the Buffalo. So that's one of the reasons that uh, the Buffaloes are not taking Idaho State lightly this week. Well, all we have to do is tell them that the coach, that the head coach Mike Kramer, the head coach of um, Idaho State, was the head coach of Montana State when they beat Colorado here. And uh, we've already shown them that game, showed them some highlights of it and everything uh, to make sure they understand. Uh, he's a heck of a coach. He's, he's won everywhere he's been. And uh, he's, he's not afraid of coming in here, I know that. Um, every opponent on our schedule is a great opponent. And it takes tremendous focus and tremendous maturity to handle that opponent the right way. Um, Idaho State's going to be a tough game. You know, they want to come in here and knock us off, especially after a great win. And we're going to take Idaho State with the utmost respect, just like we would any other opponent. And um, I, just, I just know that we're going to practice hard, we're going to hit the field. Coach Mack requires it of us, and we should require it of ourselves. Overall, it sounds like the Buffs are emotionally ready for this game. They're excited to have their home opener here at Folsom Field. And before we get out of here, we wanted to uh, highlight our Buff of the Week. Decided to go with uh, redshirt freshman guard Tim Lanott. Uh, he got his first start, first career game last week. He's from uh, Parker, uh, went to Regis High School, and uh, you know got his first start out of the way, got some jitters out of the way. Tim Lanott is our Buff of the Week. Uh, it was pretty nerve-wracking, honestly, the first couple plays, and then after that, kind of just felt like a normal game to me. Um, it was very exciting. You know, you got to improve every week, and one of those, one of these games is just it's your first game, so you definitely got to improve in week two. So, um, definitely feel like I can play now, and um, just need to keep improving, though. All right, thank you everybody for joining us. We will look forward to talking to you again after the Idaho State game, and we'll preview next week's game against Michigan.